when Tunisians began to protest, this nation, me, my administration, stood with them earlier than just about any other country. Governor Romney, I'm glad that you recognize that al-Qaeda is a threat. In the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back because you know, the Cold War has been over for 20 years. Uh, the idea, if you heard that, that uh, little soliloquy on 47 percent, you think he just made a mistake, then I think you're, I, 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 I think I got to bridge it to, to sell you. You know, you, I, I don't look at my pension. It's not as big as yours, so it doesn't well, take as long. Get... Governor Romney is going to have a busy first day because he's also going to repeal Obamacare, which will not be very popular among Democrats as you're sitting down with him. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets because the nature of our military has changed. We have these things called aircraft carriers where planes land on them. We have these ships that go underwater, nuclear submarines. It's unbelievable. Condescending. Now the challengers. Attacking me is not talking about how we're going to deal with the challenges that exist in the Middle East and take advantage of the opportunity there and stem the tide of this violence. Uh, again, uh, attacking me is not talking about an agenda for getting more trade and opening up more jobs in this country. Well, this Mr. Vice President, I know you're nope. under a lot of duress to make up lost <laughs> ground, but I think people will be better served if we don't keep interrupting each other. We, we want a peaceful planet. We want people to be able to enjoy their lives and know they're going to have a bright and prosperous future and not be at war. That's our purpose. I care about 100% of the American people. I want 100% of the American people to have a bright and prosperous future. I believe we have a responsibility to care for one another. I, uh, I served as a missionary for my church, served as a pastor in my congregation for about 10 years. I've sat across the table from people who were, were out of work and worked with them to try and find new work or to help them through tough times. We're a nation that believes that we're all children of the same God and we care for those that have difficulties, those that are el elderly and have problems and challenges, those that are disabled, we care for them. This nation is the hope of the earth. We've been blessed by having a nation that's free and prosperous thanks to the contributions of the greatest generation. They've held a torch for the world to see, a torch of freedom and hope and opportunity. Now it's our turn.